my name is Sarah. Today it is Tuesday, May 21, and I am walking in the forest, my daily forest. No, my daily walk in the forest. Um, it is very lovely weather. It is quite warm, but it's also very wet because we had quite some rain um, uh, the past days. And it's, uh, um, it is too hot to wear my rain boots with um, uh, woolen socks so I decided to uh, put on my Birkenstocks but they are very old and they hardly have any profile <laughs> under it and because there's also a lot of mud it is a bit of an exciting walk <laughs> I have to walk very careful because it's very slippery and I don't want to fall down in all that mud um, mud do you say a mud is something different mud um, I uh, will do my walk and when I'm back home I will tell you all about my swatching drama that was happening last week but I think it has a bit of a, a positive end. Yesterday gave me uh, some hope. Okay, I, uh, I think I need a more mindful walk so I will put my focus on my feet. See you later! back from my walk in the woods and I am enjoying my second and last uh, cup of coffee this morning uh, and also I'm enjoying my knitting. Um, I always love to do a little bit of knitting time uh, when I come home from my daily walk. Um, I did work quite hard this morning to do all the things in the house that need to be done um, and then my, do my daily walk is um, a little bit of the, the end of my morning routine. Um, and now I have some time for knitting and uh, filming, <laughs> so I um, want to spend them efficient. Um, but um, I have some swatching drama. I want to tell you about that today because uh, it kept me busy last week. Oh, I dropped my stitches. I am knitting on a test knit for Lerke for Fiber Tales. A few weeks ago I saw a tester's call in her Instagram stories um, and I only could see the bottom of a, what I assumed was a top. Um, it was um, plain stockinette knitting and uh, with a crochet border at the bottom and that made my heart jump because I love knitting and crochet uh, and when both techniques are combined in a design that's really fun. Uh, but I was very curious to the upper part uh, of the of the uh, garment because I don't uh, high necklines are not uh, really my thing. I love the look of them on other people, but I don't love to wear them. Uh, so I checked um, the tester's form and I could see a picture of the finished object and it was a nice V-shaped neckline and I love that. Um, so it was a tee with short sleeves um, and just easy peasy and the nice fun thing was the crochet border at the bottom. Uh, so I did apply um, and it was really fun. Later I saw, I didn't saw uh, that podcast episode yet, but later I saw Lerke wearing the garment in uh, her latest podcast episode and uh, yeah, it was really, uh, really beautiful. So, um, and I, um, I was allowed to join the test knit, so that was really fun. I saw uh, Lerke used uh, a specific yarn, a, a cotton linen mix um, from Fonti, Fonti Bohine. Fonti is a French yarn brand um, and I think they, uh, they produce really sustainable yarns. And I was knitting with Santmas Lina and I loved the summer yarn adventure I am on. So uh, I thought, okay, I'm curious to the Fonti Bohème and I was checking it online, what kind of yarn uh, it exactly was. And then I found the Dutch webshop 
and it was uh, available with quite a discount, 40%. So I thought, okay, that's a sign. I have to order it. So I did in two colors, black and a little bit of cinnamon brown, I guess. Um, it was really lovely. And then my drama started. <laughs> um, I couldn't get gauge. Um, yeah, but I will tell you all about that uh, upstairs at my knitting office because all my swatching uh, um, drama is uh, there. <laughs> all, all my swatches are there. Uh, so um, I will drink my coffee and have uh, 15 minutes of knitting time and then I will um, tell you all about it. Okay, there we go. This really kept me busy last week. Okay, it is quite a big mess on my desk, but that's uh, exactly how I'm feeling about um, this project uh, or um, about the swatching. This is the yarn Lerke used uh, for her tea, and I really want to knit uh, mine with the same yarn. Uh, it's a mix of 65% cotton and 35% linen. I was doubting between both colors, I like them both, and um, I decided I wanted to knit the tea in the black, because I really, I love having black garments in my wardrobe. They are really kind of neutral colors always working out. So I did start with swatching with this yarn. I don't have the swatch anymore. Quite often I uh, rip out the swatch and I use the yarn for knitting uh, anyway. I know I'm a loose knitter, so I already went down one needle size, I guess. So I wasn't getting gauge with 3.25 millimeter, also not with three millimeters. So I decided um, my 2.5 millimeter was busy knitting my uh, Senna cardigan, the ribbing. Uh, so I decided uh, that I would knit with 2.25 millimeter needles and I just cast it on. I didn't swatch with those needles, but I assumed that it would be good because it's such a small needle. So I did knit, it, it are over 200 stitches and I did knit quite a few centimeters and then I swatched and I realized, okay, this is not the right gauge. I love the feeling of it. It's still a bit loose knitting. How can I get such loose stitches with 2.25 millimeter? I didn't get gauge. I was far from it. The T would be way too wide and it is already, uh, I'm dropping stitches, but doesn't matter because I have to frog this anyway. Uh, the T already has quite some positive E. So yeah, it, 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 it wouldn't make sense to continue knitting because it would be so wide. So um, I thought, okay, what do I have more in my uh, stash? I could only find one summery yarn. It's a cotton. Uh, it's Katia Memphis and it's in my stash for quite some years. Um, a few years ago, more than five, I guess, uh, I did help every now and then in a little yarn shop in a village quite near my town and um, she, uh, she closed her shop so she sold all the yarns with quite a discount and I <laughs> I bought quite some yarn then. Um, also the Katia Memphis, it's a 100% cotton yarn, um, it's a bit of a, a, a greyish brown or more a brownish grey. Uh, I'm not really a grey lover but um, yeah I love this, it's a, it's a bit of a warm tint so um, I love this color and it's uh, almost exactly the same yardage. This is 125 meter over 50 grams and this is 240 meters over 100 grams. Uh, so I thought okay let's try that and I tried several things. As you can see, I love knitting with it. Um, although it is 100% cut cotton, I love knitting with it. I did start swatching in the round. I hate swatching in the round. Of course, when you knit in the round, um, you get a different gauge um, than when you knit back and forth. Uh, because uh, knitting in the round is only knit stitches and knitting back and forth is one row of knit stitches, one row of purl stitches. So um, because um, you do both in this uh, garment, but because uh, I would do the most or uh, the beginning in the round, I thought, OK, let me swatch in the round. But oh, I think it's so ugly and frustrating and 
it, it is far from hard jumping to me. And I kept telling myself, it's only a swatch, it's only a swatch, but oh, I hate working on it. And I didn't get gauge. <laughs> so um, after all, I started knitting back and forth. I thought, okay, um, I know my, my gauge will be a little bit tighter when I knit in a round. So um, I can calculate that. Uh, I can keep that in mind. So I, I knitted and I have no idea which needle size I used, but I do know I didn't get gauge and I didn't get gauge. So it was quite uh, demotivating. I really didn't know what to do. And then I thought, okay, let me check uh, in my wardrobe uh, if I have garments with uh, that stitch, um, with that gauge, with that right stitch definition. So I checked, let me show you. Those three garments um, have the, the right uh, gauge. This one is knitted in a DK weight merino yarn and it's exactly 22 stitches per 100, uh, per, 100 per 10 centimeters. This one is a little bit of a loser gauge. Um, I think this one was 20 or 21 stitches. Um, and this one also had the right stitch definition. It was exactly 22 stitches. Uh, per 10, 10 centimeters and this is Holst Coast held double this is the home camisole the other two are my own now not really designs but I didn't use a pattern for knitting them so I thought okay Holst Coast it's not what I had in mind for a summer garment because I really love the home camisole but uh, the the wool in Holst Coast it's also a blend of wool and cotton uh, but the, the wool uh, in this yarn does get itchy on me when I'm feeling warm. Uh, so I can wear, can wear this garment when it's not really warm. But when it's really hot, it's not um, suitable for me. So I uh, thought, okay, maybe uh, I do have to try it with Holst Coast. And then I don't wear the tea when it's really warm, but only on colder days. So I checked my yarn stash and I I did have some pink Holst Coast in uh, my stash, but I, I'm more thinking of knitting a sweater for my little niece in it. Um, but I also had Holst Garn Coast in the color Lead. It's also a bit of gray. I Maybe I had a gray face a few years ago. Um, so I held it double and I even went down one needle size and I only tried a few rows and maybe that's part of the problem, but I didn't get gauge. I didn't get close. I think this was 18 stitches instead of 22. So I pulled my needle out of it and thought, how, how? A few years, two years ago, with exactly the same needles, I get perfectly gauge and now not. I, it was really frustrating. So I did let go the thought of a summer yarn and thought, okay, maybe I have to use other yarn. Maybe I have to use a sport weight yarn. So I did try Rauma Finul and that's absolutely not a summer yarn to me. I love the yarn, but it's really rustic and warm. And I thought, okay, I just want to knit the test knit. I want to uh, finish it in time. There is a deadline and I just want to knit a garment and then I can wear it in winter or whatever. So I did swatch with, where is the swatch? Oh, here. I did swatch. I, 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 I stopped swatching in the round because it frustrated me so much. I thought, okay, let me knit back and forth. And I know... Um, yeah, that, that my stitch gauge in the round will be a little bit different, but then tighter. I didn't get gauge with the Rauma Finul. Then I thought maybe I, I have to let go a Holst Coast holding double, but holding it single and on a very loose gauge for an airy summer garment. It's not really what I like, but um, I was devastating. Do you say it like that? I also didn't get gauge with it and I didn't like it. Then I thought, okay, maybe I, I try fingering weight yarn. I have some beautiful, it is a Sarah hand dyed skeins from a lovely Dutch uh, dyer. It is my plan to knit a cardigan of it. But then I thought it would be lovely uh, in this tea too. Can I get gauge with fingering weight yarn on three millimeter? No, I can't. <laughs> Then I realized, okay, the T I knitted myself wasn't the correct gauge, but when I go down one needle size, uh, maybe I can get gauge with this yarn. This is 
do I have the label? This is Long Yarns Angelina. It's a, a mix of silk and merino yarn, and I really love to wear it. This is not itchy to me when I'm feeling warm. It is um, maybe because of the merino, of maybe, I think, but it's, uh, it's really a lovely yarn. It's a superwash yarn. Uh, so I did try with that, and I still didn't get a gauge, and I thought, okay, I will ignore it. I will go down one needle size and I will cast on all these stitches anyway. It are more than 200 stitches, so this was Sunday night. I cast it on and I just want to knit because I felt the deadline of the test knit. So I knitted a few centimeters and I measured my gauge. I have a gauge uh, meter, a gauge measure uh, thing. Um, it was gifted to me by... Can you see it? Jolina from Studio Jolina. She's a Belgian knitter and uh, she kindly gifted to me with my own name on it. Very nice. And I still didn't get gauge. And I was thinking, okay, maybe I can knit the garment anyway. And when it's getting too big, I can give it to someone with a bigger size than I have. But then I realized that because it's a test knit, it wouldn't make sense when it was not matching the end result how it was meant to be. So I thought, oh, what do I have to do? And I, yeah, I didn't know. I texted uh, Lerke yesterday and I said, I'm sorry, I, I, I'm not sure if I uh, will make it. When I apply for a test knit, I always uh, finish in time because I think that's important and that's my promise to the designer and of course there can happen things in your life which make you can't make it but don't get gauge uh, can't be uh, such a thing um, yesterday uh, I was editing my episode and I didn't have a knitting um, around me only this swatch was laying here uh, with the needles in no not with the needles in it without needles and I thought okay um, let me try one time. So I put my 2.5 millimeter needles in it and then I started swatching and a miracle happened. I did get gauge. This part is knitted with 2.5 millimeter needles and it was exactly 22 stitches per 10 centimeters. So it was a hallelujah moment. I was really happy. It was not really, um, yeah, 2.5 millimeter needles. The uh, the T is meant as a quick knit because it's a DK weight uh, T. Uh, so uh, it would be a quick summer knit. And um, when I knit on 2.5 millimeter needles, it doesn't feel as a quick summer knit at all. But I, I thought, okay, I want, I want that T and I want to do it right so uh, yesterday evening I cast it on again <laughs> this was my third time casting on um, I cast it on, cast it on again uh, with the Katia Memphis on 2.5 millimeter needles and I am knitting right now I must confess I'm a bit worried because again I think it looks quite big but um, I just will knit right now I just will knit and we will see. I can't measure my gates right now because I don't have enough centimeters. So I will keep on knitting and then there is a very exciting moment. Do I still have gates or not? I did knit back and forth on the swatch and I do knit in the round. So the only thing logical wise would be that my uh, T is a little bit tighter than my gauge and that is not really a problem. Big mess on my table but that's exactly how I'm feeling about <laughs> the swatching process in my head. Yeah I will clean it out maybe that will help. A few weeks ago I crocheted this um, sunny square tote that's the name of the pattern it's a pattern by a Dutch designer um, and uh, it was gifted to me uh, as the pattern and the yarns uh, by a yarn shop. I will link the yarn shop down below. You can buy kits to crochet this uh, bag, but you can also um, only buy the pattern. It is in Dutch, of course, but it is, um, um, yeah, I think you can follow it anyway. Um, also when you don't sp speak Dutch, but it was really a hard jumping project. I made it when we were on a little camper trip. And uh, it was really fun to crochet and also, um, yeah, the result was very hard jumping. And I dived in my yarn stash and I, um, it's a bit of a worsted weight cotton and I have quite some worsted weight cotton in my stash. Um, and I decided I want to make another one. 
so let me look. Uh, I bought this um, on holiday um, two years ago, I guess, and the yarn shop um, we, where I bought it doesn't um, exist anymore. It is Scanfill cotton. I never heard of it before, but it's a worsted weight cotton. It is 75 meters per 50 gram. And I have it in black and also in brown. This is the same yarn. Um, I don't know why I made such a big yarn ball of it. Probably I was starting to crochet something with it or maybe knitting, but it didn't work out. <laughs> I can't remember. Um, but uh, I am sure that it's the same yarn base of yarn, uh, the same yarn. And I had a bit of a leftover from uh, this bag. And let me see another leftover. Um, and those pink ones, I, um, uh, a friend of mine, a crafting friend, he has quite a big stash with all the uh, drops Paris. That's also the same yarn weight and um, she really want to get rid of it. So she said, oh, you can take a look in my stash and uh, pick what you need. And now I'm thinking, I'm not quite sure if I want, uh, it was originally, originally my plan to do this. Uh, color one, color two, color three, color four. But now I'm thinking about doing this. I think um, I will love that. One, two, three, four. I can switch. Uh, I'm not sure. Oh, I have to decide because I want to crochet one square right now. Um, hmm. Okay, let's do this. Yeah. I really want to uh, want to crochet one square a day. With this tote, I I completely um, um, I couldn't stop crocheting it. I I, I, I crocheted it within twenty four hours, <laughs> so it was very lovely and hard jumping. Um, I uh, don't want to crochet this one in twenty four hours, but what I do know is that um, I really love crocheting granny squares. So I thought crocheting one granny square a day would be lovely and um, maybe we go on a camping trip this weekend with my family maybe I bring this with me during this trip because I can crochet quite easily uh, while I'm talking with other people and in social situations crocheting is more easy for me than knitting so um, maybe I will bring it and I will finish in 24 hours anyway <laughs> but I will start a granny square right now Okay, there it is, my first little square. This was it for today. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.